Hi kids, in this session you are going to learn about the relief of the ocean floor. Continental shelf, continental slope, continental rise, deep sea plain, oceanic deep and oceanic ridge. First we will enter the continental shelf. A shallow and gently sloping platform extending out from the adjoining continental landmass into the sea is called continental shelf. It is almost a uniform zone of seabed with a gentle gradient. The continental shelves are shallow air which enables sunlight to penetrate through the water and encourages abundant growth of grass, seaweeds and plankton. Hence these zones become the richest fishing ground. The continental shelves have extensive deposit of minerals and mineral fuels. So, this zone becomes accessible for oil drilling and mining activities. Next, Continental Slope A steep slope which descends from the edge of the continental shelf to the deep ocean bed is called Continental Slope. The most important characteristic of Continental Slope is the presence of deep canyons and trenches. Due to the low penetration of sunlight, the slope has nearly freezing temperature. Hence, acute life has very slow rate of metabolism. Next, Continental Rise At the base of the continental slope is a gently sloping layer of sediments which merge into the deep sea floor. This underwater feature found between the continental slope and abyssal plants is called the continental rise. It consists of submarine fans which are similar to the alluvial fans found on the land. Deep sea plains or abyssal plains. The deep sea plains are underwater plains found on the deep ocean floor. These plains extend from continental rise to the mid oceanic ridges the gradient of the slope is very gentle and it appears as the uniform flat and featureless plain these plains are usually covered by the thick layer of sediments composed of clay silt and sand which brought by the rivers these are often characterized by features like abyssal hills sea mounds guyots coral, atoll, etc. Abyssal plain in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans tend to be extensive than Pacific Ocean because majority of the world's largest rivers empty their sediments into either Atlantic or Indian Ocean. Oceanic Deeps Trenches are the deepest part of the oceans and occupy about 7% of the total relief of the ocean floor. The ocean temperature in the trench is slightly cooler than the freezing temperature. As they are sediment free, most trenches are V-shaped with steep sides. Epicenter of the great earthquakes are all found in the trenches. Dragon Hole is the deepest known underwater sinkhole in the world. The local fishermen call it the Eye of the South China Sea. Oceanic Ridge Oceanic Ridge is a continuous submarine mountain chain. They are made of young basaltic rock formed when two tectonic plates move apart. The mid-ocean ridge is probably the most extensive single feature of the Earth's topography. Two of the most well-known mid-ocean ridges are the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the East Pacific Ridge. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is the largest unbroken oceanic ridge. Fathoms A nautical measurement of the depth of water in the ocean is known as the fathoms. An imaginary line on a map joining the points of equal depths is known as the isoboth. An imaginary line on a map joining the points of equal salinity in ocean is known as the isohaline. 